the express and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. Liza's defense shield won't hold much longer. You all need to hurry. I'll be here. You've got to fit them off. You hurry. We lost communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? Hmm. The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? He's that important? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the Express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? have done it without me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's the platform. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Stay beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! What's this? You won't get away! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception.
okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this... the space station? Hello there. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint. But thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. Yes, and you are the hero. Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, alright? By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. Okay, off I go. Bye! You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm, truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh, well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. Let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, 
I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of Amber Eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? 42 what? Are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Vision!
So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. Take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Here already? Hmm, I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm? Who's there? Ah, oh, it's you. The door's not locked. Come in. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archive's databank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Do give it a go. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? Just one look should be fine, right?
Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat, the express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. <sighs> you took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Okay, everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom-Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. <laughs> 